Hi there, welcome along to the latest in the KBC vlog series. Now you'll know that we're using a new book at the moment and it's this book, Roadmap to Jesus by Alistair Chalmers. You might want to look online and pick up your own copy, I recommend it to you. Uh, Alistair has been very kind in allowing us to use this as the basis for our vlogs uh, at the moment. Alistair's a young pastor up in a church in Edinburgh and uh, he's watching in, so I better be on my best behaviour. Today it falls to me to talk to you about sin. How come the pastor gets all the easy jobs, I wonder? Um, but sin affects us all, doesn't it? And it's affected us ever since the beginning of humanity. And I want to read just two verses to you from Genesis chapter 2, beginning at verse 16, where it says this, And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it, you will certainly die. Now, I want to ask all you drivers out there, how are you doing with the 20 mile an hour speed limit? It's hard, isn't it? My car doesn't like it. It just refuses to go at 20 miles an hour. Do you know what I mean? It's really difficult. But it's a law. And we're supposed to abide by the law of the land, no matter how difficult we might find it at times. But of course, God's law is even more important. And I'm going to confess something to you. I break God's law. And now I can confess that to you knowing that you know what I'm talking about, because we all do it. All of us sin. In the book, Alistair makes the point that no child ever has to be trained to be naughty. And that's true of all of us, isn't it? We've all uh, sinned, continue to sin in our lives, no matter how good a person we may think we are. I've actually been thinking a lot about sin this week. Now, don't, don't worry too much about me. But you remember yesterday, if you were in church, that we were looking at David and his sin when he entered into adultery with Bathsheba. We'll be considering that more in the house groups later this week, if you're part of a house group. I always think of Paul's words in Romans 7 when I think about sin because Paul just hits the nail on the head. Let me read it to you again for reference today. Paul says this, I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I hate, I do. As it is, it's no longer I myself who do it, but it is sin living in me. For I know that good itself does not dwell in me, that is, in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. Now if I do what I do not want to do, it's no longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me that does it. How does Paul understand me so well? How does he understand us all so well? Well, because Paul himself referred to himself as the chief of sinners. We are all capable on our worst day of some pretty horrendous things, aren't we? The Bible says that the heart is deceitful above all things. But there's good news, isn't there? Hugh reminded us last week that Christmas is coming. Christmas when we remember that God sent Jesus to be our rescuer. And as I thought of that this morning, I was reminded of the old chorus. Some of you might remember it, that there's a way back to God from the dark paths of sin. There's a door that is open and you may go in. At Calvary's cross is where you begin when you come as a sinner to Jesus. Let me just read how Alistair finishes this particular little chapter in his excellent book. The Bible begins with a garden where Adam and Eve live in harmony with God, but the Bible ends in a greater garden where the Lord will dwell with his people forever. Though sin prevents us from entering into that first garden, Jesus came to break the power of sin and has enabled people to be made right with God again so we can look forward to being with him in that greater garden. It's good to finish on a note of hope, isn't it? I trust that you know the power of Jesus in your life today. May God bless you. Thanks again to Alistair. 
I look forward to seeing you next time.